All right, I'm going to very quickly go through, a through creating a test plan. As I said, this is something that I have not asked you to do in this class. In industry, though, it's really, really important. What is a test plan? What do you guys think? How are you going to test someone? How are you going to test someone? So it talks about what is it that you're testing, right, and how you're going to do it. So that six months from now, when you go back to it, or you have to show this to someone else, it's right there. You don't have to try to memorize. It also helps you plan things out. One of the things that I try to emphasize, even though we're skipping it in this class, because of time constraints, in industry, don't skip the step. Right? Planning out what you're going to be doing is extremely important. Right? It can help you avoid a lot of problems and make it clear what the scope is of that testing. Because you know how we have a scope for a product? You also have scope for testing. Because I can guarantee if you don't have a scope and you don't have a test plan, you're going to have someone in management come over and say, oh, well, yeah, but you have to do this too. And then someone else will come and say, yeah, but you have to do this too. And this, and this, and this. So now you've gone from five tasks to 20 tasks. And then what do you think management comes and asks you two weeks later when you're not done? What are you going to do? Why isn't it done? So you need to have your test plan. It's important to have a plan that everyone can agree to and understand, not only for your team but for management. And it helps communicate your intentions to others in the organization. Now, at the same time, don't overdo this step because you can plan forever, right? Where it's not perfect. Is there such thing as a perfect test plan? No. Can you test everything in your test plan? No. It needs to be concise, straightforward, and very clear. Now, in creating a test plan, you're going to go through a lot of things that we have actually been going through in this class for your group project, right? What is the purpose? Why are you conducting the test? All right, what is your problem statement? What are your objectives? Who are, who are your users? What methods are you going to be using? All right, so what's your environment going to be like? What, what uh, hardware, what software are you going to be using? Your tasks, what are your task lists? With all the information that we've already talked about in terms of your tasks. What tasks need to be completed? What are the projected times for completion if you decide you're going to include that? What is the required state of systems to test your tasks? As you guys are turning in your wording for your task list, one of the things you may find that I tell you is I may remind you that your environment has to be exactly the same for every user. Now what that means that we tend not to think about is that means you have to reset your environment for every user. So if you have your users creating an account, with dummy information, you either need to A, between participants, delete that account or have more dummy, different dummy information. Make sense? And of course, talk about what equipment and what environment you're going to be doing the testing in.